Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about ovarian ectopic pregnancy. Our video will include definition, incidence, ultrasound diagnosis, and the differential diagnosis of ovarian ectopic pregnancy. Definition An ectopic pregnancy is characterized by implantation and development of an embryo outside the trying cavity. Ovarian ectopic pregnancy occurs when a fertilized ovum implants into the ovary. Incidence Ovarian ectopic pregnancy is a rare event with estimated frequency ranging from 1 in 7,000 to 1 in 40,000 live births. It accounts for 3% of all ectopic pregnancies, similar to the incidence of interstitial ones. Ultrasound diagnosis Transvaginal ultrasound plays an important role in establishing the preoperative diagnosis. Some criteria are very suggestive for sonographic localization of ovarian pregnancy. Number 1 an empty endometrial cavity. Number two, a gestational sac with a yolk sac or fetal pool with or without cardiac motion that is inseparable from adjacent ovarian parenchyma. Number three, a wide echogenic ring with an internal equilucent area on the ovarian surface. Number four, the presence of ovarian cortex including corpus luteum or follicles around the mass, the echogenicity of the ring usually greater than that of the ovarian tissue. The key diagnostic feature is the inability to separate the pregnancy from the ovary on gentle palpation with the ultrasound probe during the examination. However, this finding is not entirely specific as it may also be present in tubal pregnancies which are firmly adherent to the uterus or ovary. The presence of a yolk sac or embryo within the ovarian cortex is highly specific of an ovarian pregnancy. Differential diagnosis In an absence of yolk sac or fetal ball on ultrasound imaging, an ovarian pregnancy can be misinterpreted as a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst or corpus luteum. A corpus luteum may have a ring-like appearance, but in the majority of cases, a corpus luteum is less echogenic than the ovary itself. Attempting to use color Doppler ultrasonography to distinguish a gestational sac from a corpus luteum is useless because both have the ring of fire sign. Follow-up ultrasound findings should demonstrate a corpus luteum cyst, demonstrating progressive involution with increasing granulations of its margins, whereas an ovarian pregnancy will grow with marked second of the circumferential echogenic margins and the appearance of a yolk sac and fetal pool within the gestational sac. Sometimes, only the presence of trophoblastic tissue during the histologic examination of material of a bleeding ovarian cyst definitively proves that an ovarian pregnancy was the cause of the bleeding. A distal tubal ectopic pregnancy that is close to the ovary can also be misdiagnosed as an ovarian ectopic pregnancy. Free movement between the ovary and a danexial mass on palpation during ultrasound, which is called a sliding sign, can assist in differentiating intraovarian mass, ovarian pregnancy, from extraovarian mass, tubal pregnancy. Tubal ectopic pregnancies also have ring-like appearance, but the ring has much thinner wall compared with the ovarian pregnancy.